it should be a continuation. Okay, let's go back again to the book. Okay? Take your time, please. If you want to, by the way, what you, that was fine. You want to get up, move around, I, I look, that, that's wonderful because it means something's happening. Yeah. At one time. Okay. But let's use those particular things if you do rise. He's there at Bell, Rabban shows over there. Okay, very simple. Tush, never tell me. I take I take it much unkindly that thou, Iago, who has had my purse as if the strings were thine, should know of this. Stop, but you'll not hear me. If ever I did dream of such a matter, abhor me. Thou talks me, thou just hold him in thy hate. Despise me if I do not. <sighs> Three great ones of the city. Personal suit to make me his lieutenant, both lieutenant, off captain. Okay, I'm going to stop you for a moment there. Don't worry about it. Just a note again, because that's such an important area, in terms of what you can do with it, just to be aware of it, don't worry about it, is when she, he, uh, has that line about, thou told me, thou didst hold him in thy hate, despise me if I do not, and then he, he, he looks at you in disbelief, etc. You're going to have to use that. And it'll color that next line. It's going to create an urgency there on three great ones of the city. Otherwise, he's like he was before. He's not listening. And then we're kind of continuing, and there's no growth. The growth will come when you decide, enough, enough. I'm going to tell you what happened, so you will know that I'm on, that I did not betray. I think physically it's difficult now. I'm not sure. ready to get up and do this, and there are things I would do physically. Sure. Yeah, to, to, you know. But be aware. Of it. That's all. Okay. Yeah. Okay, let's go back. Tush, never tell me. I take it much unkindly that thou, Iago, who has had my purse as if the strings were thine, should know of this. Blood, but you'll not hear me. If ever I did dream of such a matter, of poor me. Thou told me thou didst hold him in thy hate. Despise me if I do not. Three great ones of the city, in personal suit to make me his lieutenant, walk captain him, and by the faith of man, I know my price. I am worth no worse of place. But he, as loving his own pride and purposes, evades them with a bombast circumstance, horribly stuck with epithets of war, and in conclusion, non suits my mediators. For certes, he says, I have already chosen my officers. And what is he? For so, a great arithmetician. One, Michael Cassio, a Florentine, a fellow almost damned in a fair way, that never set a squadron on a field, nor the division of a battle knows more than a spinster, unless the bookish theory, wherein the toad of the councils can propose as masterly as he. Mere prattle without practice in his soldiership. But he, sir, had the election. And I, of whom his eyes had seen the proof that Rhodes at Cyprus, on the grounds Christian and heathen, must be believed and calmed by the other creditor. This countercaster, he in good time must as lieutenant be, and I, God bless the mark, his worship's ancient. Okay, just a lot before we go to the next area. Um, for now, as far as antithesis goes, highlight more than you perhaps normally would in terms of the performance or whatever. Just so I want you to be more aware, and then it will become a natural reflection of color. Um, it was becoming a little blurry there in terms of that roads at Cyprus and other grounds. There were a few words that were blurred. Be, be careful with that. Um, Meaning I would just run them, them together? Yeah, and also they got careless. It was even pronounced, uh, it became like it sounded like it might be another word and not the actual word. Um, So that he and the I, the he and the I, zero in on that. I thought I was just a little okay. more. Or this one should be even more sure. aware. Of it. it doesn't mean you're going to actually do it that way. Right. right. It should be so ingrained. Uh, after a while, you'll you'll find these things in, in all the speeches. It will be there. And, uh, 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 
and more subjective on of whom his eyes had seen the proof and rose and sunk through. That could get very low. That could get very mean. That could get almost psychotic. Okay, I want to start from the top again, but this time... Uh, Monica, if you would read uh, Iago, and Artemis, if you would read Rodrigo, okay? Okay. Any questions, by the way, before we start about the scene, what happened with about that before or something, within the scene, any point asked for sure. As far as movement goes, if you want to get up fine, you don't have to. Never tell me. I take it much unkindly that that thou, Iago, who has had my purse as if the strings were thine, shouldst know of this. We will not hear me. If ever I did dream of such a matter before, thou told me that thou didst hold him in thy hate. Despise me if I do not. Three great points of the city in personal suit to make me, his lieutenant, all cap to him. And by the faith of man, I know my place. I am worth no worse a place. But he, as loving his own pride and purposes, evades them with a bombast circumstance, or with death of the defense of war, and in conclusion, mounts use my mediators for certain success. I have already chosen my officer, and what was he? <laughs> Forsooth, a great arithmetician, one Michael Cassio, a Florentine, a fellow almost damned in a fair life. The squadron in the field, nor the division of a battle, knows more than a spinster. Unless the book is rhetoric, or the token councils compose as a master of his team. The battle of that practice has all this election. But he, sir, had an election, and I, of whom his eyes had seen the proof at Rhodes, at Cyprus, and on other grounds, Christian and heathen, must be believed and called by their turn. Time must his lieutenant be, and I, God bless the monk, his worship stage. By heaven, I would have rather been his hangman. Okay, good. First group. I want you to concentrate even more on those isolated areas. In other words, uh, none suits my mediators. Highlight that even more. Highlight arithmetician more. All right. Highlight that never said the squadron in the field or the division of a battle. Put that all together very purposely. Don't let there be a break. All that's all one breath. Right. And it should be what it should sound like one breath, if you know what right. I mean. You know, there are times when I'm somebody. To do that, like, yeah, that was like, well, I mean, sometimes <laughs> you, you can compound the point by sounding like you're going to do it on one breath. Oh, you know what I mean? People yes, do that. Like, I want to tell you something, and I'm going to tell you now before I need to take another breath. Because it sounds weird, but then it sounds very clear what I'm doing. You know, I'm, not, I'm going to tell you right now, end of conversation, you're going to listen to me, and that's it. And it's, okay. And that's what you need there. Uh, uh, And some of that same idea that I just said on the lines that tie together, like Rodrigo, that when, when he, remember I said about any lines that come that overlap, or right. that when there's no break, that thou, Iago, who hast had my purse as if the strings were done, should, you know, all ease together, and it sounds like he wants it to be together. Emotion, that's not right. Uh, <coughs> Iago dismisses him rather than him getting rid of Iago. And let's say, as I said last week, perhaps he starts to exit. Now, we may not actually do this, but in your mind, that's his attitude. 
that he's leaving you. Like, I'm not going to talk about it anymore because I already told you, if you don't believe me, to hell with it. And he's going to go. His attitude is leaving. Go. And that's going to determine the next line. Rather than just the same thing about holds me, thou didst hold him in thy hate, and here we go, and we go, and we go, and we go. It's another color. And it's a different color. So when we start the scene, it isn't these two people just coming in and he's mad at him because he didn't tell him and he's telling him, yeah, but I did mean to tell you when we go on and I, it's twists and turns. We don't know what's going to happen. They come in here, they happen to arrive in this particular area because they have to arrive somewhere. He's running up after him. He's trying to get away from him. I told you, I told you, don't believe me, etc., etc. Et and then he says, to hell with it, and he's going, he's going to leave. So the thing is, we, we don't know what's going to happen in this scene. It's, it's, it's not just these two guys coming in and he's going to talk to him and tell him all this plotting and, and then they're going to go and wake up Ravancho. We don't know what's going to happen. Okay? Um, he says, despise me if I do not. Now you had the right idea. Oh, come on. And I know we're not doing blocking now, but keep going now. Don't stop until, like, oh, that I mean, really, please, please, please. And at some point in that, he'll come in, he'll see, he'll, and he'll cut in and make you hear him. But there's got to be that attitude. So you can, you have the right idea, but go with it even more. I want you to, you know, I'm going to hold that. Uh, and this is going to force out of him a certain color on the next stage. Because it's so convenient, Shakespeare. They have, he has a speech, I know it ends here, and I can give my speech. And does it sound familiar? And we go back. And everybody kind of has their say, and they have their say. You've got to earn it. I know nothing's taken for granted. And if, if he doesn't come in with the right attitude, blow him off the stage. Really, Rodrigo can't depend on who's doing what role. You'd be amazed how you know, I've seen plays with different productions where the smallest role can, you know, it's a good part, but it shouldn't steal the show. And it does, because somebody knows what they're doing. And the others are just not there, or the director isn't there, which is usually the case. You know. So nothing's taken for granted. You have your own life to live, damn it. You've got your own desires. And uh, isn't that what it's all about? And he's got his, and you're going to get yours. Um, and the three main errors that he will take in from the other speech non suits my mediators. So, in other words, the, his people that he hired, the Yago, to plead his case, they were told no. That's important for him, for Rodrigo. The other one is who this guy was and won out over him. Who was he? A great arithmetician. Do you believe this? And Rodrigo, remember, knows nothing about warfare. And at this point in time, uh, both in Italy and in England, uh, the kind of warfare that Cassio knew was the kind that was in vogue. He was just to come into vogue in the last 20 years. Rodrigo doesn't know. Well, what, does, what does Rodrigo know about war? He's not a warrior. So whatever he tells him, he'll take it face value. It's true. You know? So to him, that's horrible. A great arithmetician. My God. See, he would have a definite response. He, he'd understand and sympathize with him. And then he goes into the particulars. That never set a squadron in the field or the division of a battle knows more than a spinster. Unbelievable. That son of a bitch gave the job to him over you, who have fought with him all these years. So that, that's the third area. So that at the end of the speech, Rodrigo said, the last thing he said, Rodrigo, was, before the speech started, was, thou toldst me, thou didst told him in thy hate. So he's still going. He's nowhere in any way is he subdued, except we have the beginning of a growth here because he starts to leave the outdoor. So that makes him more vulnerable. That's another reason why it would be nice, perhaps, to him to start to leave psychology, because it makes you more open to what he's going to say. Okay. However, he's still got a long way to go. But when his whole speech is over, what is the next thing he says? He says, by heaven, I would rather have been his hand. Wow. Whew. Talk about polarities. Usually polarities are at the beginning and the end of, the, of a scene. This is polarities at the beginning and the end of the speech. He's over here at the beginning of the speech, and he's over here at the end. So obviously, he listens. Find out something about his character. He listens. He must listen to take all this in, all the ramifications of it. And uh, he's almost won him over already. Almost. He certainly has him back in, in his area where he wants him. He sympathizes with him a 
you need to go. You know, uh, you, what are you doing in my life? You're taking my money, you lie, you're cheating. And now he's only your poor pastor. Wow. But Rodrigo is going to have to, he's going to have to earn this on his own. No matter how good Iago may be or what he does or doesn't do, you're going to have to be there taking his sin and understand it. And especially on those areas, those three things that I mentioned. Otherwise, the whole thing is equal. The whole speech he is at certain times when he really, he gets through you. And you have a nice growth there. And then uh, he's like hanging on this. And from this point, he's like, Okay, let's, yes. I made the choice for a given circumstance while he was, while Iago was saying it rode the Cypress on her, uh-huh. that, that Rodrigo had heard the rumors of the war, even though he knew nothing about warfare, yeah. which I didn't really realize that when I was reading, but like, so like people had said, you know, he's a great soldier, he saved a fellow's life, he's done this, and it, do you think that is a possible given circumstance that would make him turn around so more more quickly? Like, oh my God, yeah, you've saved his life, you've saved the country, you've done this, you've done that, you are great. Are there are there rumors of you know stories of war about Iago? Iago? Uh, you mean so so he'd be clued into this already? Well, certain. not that he can think of it, but when he starts talking, that would mean something to Rodrigo as well. Like, oh yeah, God, you've saved his life, you've done, you know, you've gone off and done whatever he has done. To a certain point, yes. To a certain point. I don't know if he'd know all the details or too much, but he'd know that he's that there is that there is veracity here, that he's not he's not lying. Obviously he's his ensign, and the ensign in that day and age is on the is on, is in, is in the is in battle. He's not some guy in an office somewhere. He's out there fighting. Yeah. So obviously, it, it, that, that would indicate that immediately. He would, uh, he would have told you that a little bit. Uh, 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 like everybody knows Othello was a great person in the wars or whatever. Sure. Soldier or whatever like oh, that, sure. right? Does Iago have any of that reputation that Rodrigo would know of? Let's say up to a point. And then he's going to highlight it even more okay. so that you'll have something to discover here. Okay. Okay. You're halfway there, he'll bring you the rest of the way in terms of what, what you know about him. Uh, and he's protected him. You've seen him out in the street where you've been in trouble. Because he's the typical guy who would be bullied, Rodrigo. You know it. The money, the, you know, the, the attitude, the whole thing. He's not a soldier. And in that day and age, the, the police were not very active. Yeah. It was okay. every man for himself. So he protects you. And you've seen him probably in situations where a couple of guys were going to maybe beat you up. And he took those two guys, and when he got through with them, he wrapped them around the yeah. pole, you know. Okay. And uh, so you know he can do it. He's yeah. not just talk. Right. Okay. That would help tremendously. Okay. Yeah. So then when he says all these things, it's like, yeah, I yeah. saw him do something. I can make was like a battle. Yeah. Board. Jesus Christ. And okay. it'll really highlight all this. Okay. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, let's do that one more time. Two of you do it, and then move on to the next area. So we go from the open again. Okay. Tish, never tell me. I take it much unkindly that that thou, Iago, who has had my purse as if the strings were thine, should know of this. Sweet blood. But you'll not hear me. Thou didst told me that thou did hold hold him in thy hate. Thou despise me if I do not. Three great ones of the city in personal suit to make me his lieutenant. All cap to him. Okay, go back a step. Despise me if I do not. You're going to have to grab his attention there, and then you'll grab it even more mm-hmm. when he rejects you, on, on even on that line. Okay? It's going to be very pointed. Don't like, because you've got, otherwise, it's like you're uh, winning this whole speech. You've got to earn him, you've got to earn his quietness on his speech. And then he's running around, he's after you, he's this, he's that. All of a sudden he's quiet for a couple of minutes while he listens to you talk. Okay. You're gonna to have to shut him up. Okay, let's go back to some of these steps to uh, to Rodrigo. Can we go from the top? Sure. Mm-hmm. Okay. Never tell me. I take it much unkindly that thou, Iago 
Which had my purse as if the strings were thine. Should know of this. Sure. But you'll not hear me. If ever I did dream of such a matter of love. Now tell me, Lord, what is it Thou told me, thou didn't told me, and I hate. Despise me if I do not. Three great ones of the city in personal suit to make me his lieutenant off captain. And by the faith of man, I know my prize. I am worth no worse a place. But he, as loving as his own pride and princes, evades them with a thought fast of circumstance, horribly stuck with epithets of war, and in conclusion, man suits my mediators for certes. I have already chose my officer. And what was he? Forsooth, the great arithmetician. One Michael Cassio, a Florentine, almost a fellow almost damned with a fair wife, that never set a squadron in the field, nor the division of a battle knows more than a spinster. Unless the book is unless yeah, unless the bookish theory were in the toged Councils can propose this mastery is here. Okay, just a note there. Uh, that's good. That never set a squadron in the field of the division of a battle is not a threat. That's all one breath. Of a battle knows more than a spinster. Okay, that, that's a major area in the speak. Possibly the most right. important area. That, that, and you had it. Had it needs even more of your head part of it. You're on the way. But the next area after it is very important. Very important because it isn't that important. It's subjective. He's indulgent here. He's saying something that's true, but he said it already. And so he's very emotional here, and he's not achieving his objective. He's just indulging his, his feeling here. So what I'm saying is uh, he can get a little sarcastic. It has to have another flavor. Another level. Yeah, another thing. That's the bookish theater. You know, he's, he's, he's being uh, bitchy. Here. Yeah. The bookish theater. We're going to tell you cousin. Yeah. Look at that. You know, we have pride yeah. without practice. You know, that, that whole that attitude there has to be different. And then, uh, and then he gets back into the objective with but he, sir, which is really what he said, hacking election. That's what it's about. Right. That's what it's all about. I didn't. Fine. Well, even more. And, uh, and I. And then again, he indulges. True it may be, but he's indulging his passion here. A woman his eyes had seen the proof. But now it's no joke. I mean, he's not being sarcastic here. It gets vicious. Right. And it's nothing to do with Rodrigo. Imagine in this area that he's alone with him. Okay, he's on, he's just with him. And it's like, and it can be a very, it's like an x-ray. The audience is watching, and suddenly we see Iago downstairs, right? And we, we don't know that Hello is over there. Maybe he just, in his mind's eye, he's over there. We'll find out after that, in fact, he's over there. But the thing is, he gets he gets caught up in this. And it's, it, it, can, it can kind of be very low, don't worry, low, whatever. But I'm just saying, he comes under the it gets a very private moment. Forget my Greek on that. He loses my Greek when he gets into this. So he's very reckless in his feelings. He shows himself. The very thing that he says later in the scene, in, 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 in the next speech, actually, about showing himself, it, he said, if I ever got to that point, I have my feelings right here. They'd be exposed. But the fact is, he does expose his feelings. He thinks he does, but he does. Right. You just have to listen to him and watch him. It's like Poirot says. Take enough time and listen to anyone carefully. They'll tell you all about themselves. This isn't necessarily bad. It can be frightening with certain people, depending on where they're coming from. And it's the same thing here. He gives himself away. Okay? Um, yes, one more time. And then we'll go to the next one. Everywhere. I'll be Never tell me. I take it much unkind of it, thou, Iago, who has had this, who has had my purse as if the strings were thine, shouldst know of this. Uh, but you'll not hear me. If ever I did dream of such a matter, thou didst told me, told me that thou didst hold him in thy hate. Despise me if I do not. personal suit to make me his lieutenant. All captain him. And by the face of man, I know my thoughts on his work. No such place of okay. As loving as his own pride and purposes. The 
Okay, it's never so fast circumstance for a way stop for that of so war and in conclusion, none of Zeus my mediators are so I want to choose. And remember to tie that together. That, that, right, that right. Okay. For okay. Certain, okay. certainly, since he, I have already chosen my office. Okay, for certain, he said to you, I have already chosen my officer. And what was he? Tie it together even more. Okay. For certain, he says he, I have already chosen my officer. And what was he? One Michael Cassio, a Florentine, a fellow almost damned in a fair walk. That never set a squadron in the field, nor the division of a battle that was more than a Finster, and thus slip of his spirit, where the Toby of Castles could propose that Master be as he, mere prattle without practice. And all of his solution. But did you say that line again? Oh, I don't know. Okay, I just know it's very good. Yeah, okay. And thus the book of spirit, where the Toby of Castles can propose that Master be as he, mere prattle without practice, and all of his solution. But he, Sir Hyman Lesh, and I, with a group his eyes, had seen that proof at Rhodes, at Cyprus, and on other grounds, Christian and heathen, must be believed and called by their friends. This counter-pastor gave the time of discontent. And I, God bless the mark, his worship's ancient. By heaven, I rather would have been his hangman. There's no money. It is the curse of service. Preferment both by letter and affection, and not by old relation. For each second stood heir to the first. Now, sir, be judge yourself whether I, at any just determining, am inclined to love the more. Okay, hold it a second. I want to do that last paragraph again, please. Oh, yeah, we will. We're going to be sure. I know how to say it now. It's on the tip of my tongue. First time you Okay, you talked about the line. Real quick. Yeah, let's go back to that just after his more ship's name. By heaven. Go back to that. Okay. By heaven, I would rather have been his hangman. Why? There's no remedy. Tis the curse of service. Preferment goes by letter and affection and not by old relation. For each second stood heir to the first. You judge yourself whether I and any just determine. I would not follow him then. Sir, convince you. I follow him to serve my trouble upon him. They cannot all be masters, nor all masters cannot be truly followed. You shall mark many a dubious and be crooked knave that, doting on his own obsequious bondage, works all his time. Much like his master's house. For not that forbidden. Ancient, and 
he says, by heaven, I would rather have been this hanging. Obviously, there's a big change with him. Right? He's, he's got not just your attention, but your sympathy. To just about. And on the next line, I would not, I mean, it's like, you now it's all his problem, and you're worried about him. So it's been a complete turnaround here. Uh, now, another antithesis, I want you to be aware of, preferment goes by letter and affection, and not by old gradation. Right. Gradation opposite letter and affection. Um, See, that's, I think, I mean, I just made that the point where I really see, uh, that's my anger point. That, that's what point all of it wrapped around. That, that was like the, I mean, I don't know. That's well, like, it could be. It's just that. Uh, right, that's just what I saw at that moment when I was reading it. Yeah. As it, opposed to when I was reading it at the moment, as opposed to when he was reading it. That's what I saw. The problem there would be, it's. Uh, because I've been there by God. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Cassio has not. <laughs> but he says there's no remedy. Yeah. Now, in the opening thing, when he talks about Rodrigo and the fact that he's high, that there, there's venom there. It's like that's a personal thing because he knows your word, and if anyone is going to hire you for, uh, for the lieutenancy, it's going to be him. Right. I mean, you've been there, you've fought together. Right. But here he's talking about the nature of the beast, not just, right. oh. uh, you know, not just the fellow, but the whole field. It's politics, it's nepotism. Okay, so there could be a certain resignation there in terms of not where he's given up, but where he's playing the, the hero here. Well, that's, you know, it's a complete turnaround. Now he's sympathizing with you, and it's like, I know, but that's the way it is. What do you do about it? So you know what I mean? Oh, I mean, he doesn't care. Right. But it's yeah, another, know, it could be another yeah. comment. Yeah. yeah. It's a harsh spot in the still. It could be sarcastic here. You know? Right. It could be, oh, so many things like, for instance, uh, just an idea physically. Uh, he says, um, there's no remedy, just the curse of service. Uh, preferment goes by letter and affection. And he might, and again, there's, uh, there's 20 things you might do, but preferment goes by letter and affection. He might kiss his ass. In other words, preferment goes by letter and well, right, right. That's not what I was thinking. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. he could physicalize it. You see what I mean? Right. And even if you don't, if you, you can physicalize it internally without actually doing what I said. Right. If you do that, it'll come out in, in the line. There's an additive. But do internalize it that way. And you can physicalize it literally. Certainly, he's a very physical character. So he can touch his ass, you know, he's not going perfection. You know, he's made his point. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, uh, there's no, there's no limitations. There's some characters you can really, you know, go with, and so go with them. Um, but another color from what we had in that whole last uh, speech. Now it's, it's, it's the long suffering hero here who knows what the field is like, the nature of the beast, and he's not giving up. But it's, it's the way it is. What are you going to do? And um, okay. He said, this is letter and affection opposite to redemption. <clears throat> there should be a nice break after first. Stood heir to the first. Now, another color. I'll, I'll put a big change here. It's like a wrapping up of the whole thing. I told you all this. I told you about the field. Now, sir, be judge yourself, whether I in any just term of a fine to love the more. But not just to say it. It can come out that way. Now, sir, be judge yourself, in fact, whether I mean any, you know, etc. I'm not the one. Okay, but it should be more of how he, you know, it's so, in other words, it's so ludicrous, and we should hear the ludicrousness in the line, in the delivery of it. You see what I mean? Uh, it's too repeated, you see. Good. Now you, you, you've got it. Okay, now this speech, oh, sir, it's a famous speech. Uh, I follow him to serve my turn. This is a first. We have to ask, has Iago ever told this to anyone before? If he has, I'd like to know why. I mean, what would he gain up? It's very dangerous. <laughs> we have to understand what Iago is saying here and what he's about to tell him. Not what he told him a moment ago, that's all true. He's, he's expressing a great animosity and a big 
viciousness toward the general, who is the number one person in this country at this time. And uh, this is not something you do. You have to ask yeah. why he's doing this. It's a first. It's a first for Riyadh, not to feel it, but to express it. Yeah, I don't think our brother Yoel did anything really too naive, and he, he, he's following me all around like a little lost puppy. He's too stupid. Right. He's not going to do anything. Well, he's there's like other reasons, stuff. too. There's other reasons why you wouldn't do anything. You're, you're, you're both in the, involved in the same thing. In hurting, no, you have a, he has a vested interest in this. He wants to get Desdemona, and perhaps it's not over yet. Perhaps we'll see. Maybe there's something that can still be done. We don't know. We'll find out as the scene goes up. Um, but they're both allied against the common enemy. They're... We cannot all be masters, nor all masters cannot be truly followed. That's got to tie together. There's got to be a run out there. Nor all masters cannot be. There can be no run. When I say run out, I mean no run. Because if there's a second there, it takes on another color. Also on the next slide, you shall mark many a dubious, obviously that's a run out. It's a continuation. You shall mark many a dubious and neutral. Now, I'll give you things to try, which you don't have to do in a performance, although it can help, it depends, but it's going to, I hope, illuminate the line and the reading and the understanding. He says, um, you shall mark many a dubious and new crooked name that doting on his own obsequious bondage wears out his time, and then he goes on and on and on, <laughs> and he does go on. Uh, in fact, the other goes on throughout the whole play, and, you know, it's a great role, yeah, but uh, you, well, how much can we take of this? Uh, so, it needs all kinds of colors to break these things up. And the next time you do it, turn it into, at, that, at a certain point in the speech, let it become a question, the state. In other words, what I'm driving at. Uh, we cannot all be masters, or all masters cannot be truly followed. You shall mark, let me just point, many a dubious and neat crooking knave that doting on his own obsequious bondage wears out his time, much like his master's ass, for naught but provender, and when he's old cashier, question mark, question mark, question mark. So it's going to compound the statement by making it into questions. See what I'm saying? It's another couple. So don't let the grammar here or the well, what is or not in, in terms of commas and next question, forget all that. This comes from, from folios and, and quartos that are in dispute and argued about back and forth. We have to make it our own. Okay? So, uh, so all that becomes question, which makes it infinitely stronger. And it, it, the last question would be with cashier. And then he witnesses a job this thing, for all I'm concerned. Now, then he gets into the next step. Uh, now, there's a certain point in this speech where he becomes subjective, like he did in the other speech, and that is uh, oh, right around. <coughs> A little after that, get very close though. These fellows have some soul. He's still on something as he can finish that area. But such one who I profess myself, as I assured you, I'm Rodrigo, and either more, I would not be Iago. So it could be, in following him, I follow but myself. Okay. Certainly, it can end there. It might end a little early, the objective. <coughs> but I think it certainly ends there, at the latest. But he hasn't stopped. <laughs> now he goes into, in, uh, heaven is my judge. Oh, now we get into heaven. Not I for love and duty, but seeming so for my peculiar end. Well, okay, I understand the drill, but he said that already. <coughs> he said it in the early part of the speech. And then he says, for when my outward action doth demonstrate the native act and figure of my heart, he said, yeah, okay, he said that too in the early part of the speech. Uh, in other words, he, he said appearance is not what it is. It only, you know, things just appear that way. So he becomes subjective here. Why? He's overselling it. So obviously, uh, he's, he's covering, he's embarrassed because of the fact that he's serving this man, and uh, uh, he's overcompensating here. In other words, he has to make an impression. 
and he's concerned about what other people think. In this case, what I he has to save face. That's the save face. And so he does it by going on and on. It's very emotional here. This is he's indulging here. He's indulging his personal feelings, but he is not helping to achieve his objective. And that's very important. That may sound strange, but we'll why get into that. Very important. Uh, okay. And that that whole last part of the speech, for when my outward action, right through to the last line, for those to peck at, all those tie together. There's no break there. The colors are there, they may there, but there's no break. Every uh, negative act and figure of my heart and complement stern, the break may come within the line, in the middle, like after the stern, but not after heart or after, or sleep, they all go right into the next word. And then it ends, I am not what I am. And that, of course, is a major phrase, and that would be in your life. And there'd also be a nice break after that, before Rodrigo's next line. Doesn't mean it'll be a long time coming, it just means that there's a big change coming up. And another end, here, this is an obvious one, following him, uh, we need all these things to color these speeches, to break them up. I don't know if I gave you the early part of that speech. We cannot all be masters, or all masters cannot be truly followed. We shall not many a dubious, all that's tied together. We cannot many, all tied together. Where is that? That's the uh, 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 third, fourth, and fifth line in that speech. We cannot all be masters, or all masters cannot be truly followed. You shall not have any duties, etc. Uh, it doesn't mean that there aren't other areas in these speeches where they'll also be tied together. It depends on how you interpret it, etc., etc. But now let's make very clear where it should be. Okay. Switch now. I'd like to switch in that same area we just did. And uh, if you are in this, we do the Iago in this area, starting with why there's no remedy. Okay? Right through to the end of that speech. Okay, and Monica, if you would do a brief. Should just again, a note. He's achieved his initial objective already at, at this point. Right. Now, what comes after this before they wait for Bancho? It's in two parts to say. The first part, he's got to win him back again to his side, the Iago has to. Well, he's more or less won. Now you could say he can follow it up by securing the fact he's won him back. But then it gets to a point where he's indulging. And now, so it's going to take out other colors now. It gets very personal. It's no longer constructive. But for us, the audience, it's very constructive because he tells us about this guy. He's saving face. In other words, he, we find out how he feels about following the devil. And it's ironic because he's all pointing the speeches. I'm a free agent. I do what I want. You think I'm following him? No, 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 no. I'm usurping him all the time. Yeah, he says that. But then why does he go on and on about it? Because it, 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 it gnaws him inside. It's gnawing away at him. And, we, and that's what we're going to find out in this speech. Otherwise, it's the way we do it all the time. He comes in, and we see the omniscient, omnipotent Iago, who knows everything ahead of time, knows everything that's coming up, and it's just going to happen. It's all going to work out. No, he struggles, he fights, he has to figure things out, he makes mistakes, he slips, he gets up, he falls again, he gets up, you know, as they all do in the play. Rodrigo is constantly falling. But with some characters, it's not so apparent. Just to be aware of that. So it's a very personal area, as it builds that speech, not the whole thing, the last half of it. Okay, let's go back. Why, there's no remedy. Tis the curse of service. Preference goes by letter and affection, not by old gradation, where each second stood heir to the first. Now, sir, be judge yourself whether I 
in any just term, am a fine to love the more. I would not follow him. Oh, sir, content you. I follow him to serve my turn upon him. We cannot all be masters, nor all masters can be truly followed. You shall mark many a duty as a knee cooking knave that doting on his obsequious bondage wear out his time much like his master's ass for not the provender. And when his old cashier with me such honest knaves, others there are who trim in forms and visages of duty, keep yet their hearts attending on themselves and throwing but shows of service on their lords. Do well to thrive, thrive on them. Just go back to others. And that has to be a change there. He's talking about them, the ones who, who kiss you the asses and, and in return, you know, what they end up with. And then there are the others. Now, this has another color. The other, not the others, me. And that's important, because that's the whole point of the speech. I'm not like them. I'm like the others. Okay. So go back and just try it to that, the last part of it. Like with me? Uh, yeah, sure. That's fine. With me, such honest knaves. Others there are who trimmed in forms and visages of duty keep yet their hearts attending on themselves and throwing but shows of service on their lords. Do well thrive by them, and when they have lined their coats, do themselves homage. These fellows have some soul, and such a one I do profess myself. For, sir, it is as sure as you are Rodrigo. Were I the more, I would not be Iago. In following him, I follow but myself. Okay, and again, that's good. Go, uh, go back, uh, just again to be aware, uh, these, these fellows have some soul. I want you to be aware of words. Again, remember that this is not a finished product, and it might be you wouldn't necessarily hit that word in the obvious way, but certainly emotionally you're going to hit it. It's going to take on it. Sometimes you can understate a word, and that highlights it. There's ways to do it. But for now, we'll do it in, in an easier way. But I want you to be aware of it. These fellows opposite the other fellows. So we've got to, we have to differentiate between the two. Okay? Okay. Uh, go back to, uh, go back to, to, to that line. These fellows have some soul. These fellows have some soul, and such a one I do profess myself. For, sir, it is as sure as you are Rodrigo. Were I the more, I would not be Iago. <laughs> In following him, I follow but myself. Heaven is my judge. For not I for love of duty, but seeming so for my particular end. For when my outward action doth demonstrate the native act and figure of my heart in compliment extern, it is not long after that I will wear my heart upon my sleeve for dogs to peck at. I am not what I am. And that last line, I am not what I am, well, okay, it's pretty obvious what you're saying, then, <laughs> but instead of just saying it, it's almost too easy a line. It needs something else to even compound that. What I'm saying is, it could be, I am not I am not what I am. You're making that point. But you've made that point already. So you're going to have to do something else with it, another color. In other words, it should be like almost incredulous. Like, I am not what I am. You, you, you don't really think. You know, something on that order. It's just to be aware of that. You see what I mean? Not always the obvious. Go for something else. And that will highlight it more. You see? Um, Mm -hmm. Yeah, please. For when my outward action doth demonstrate the native act and figure of my heart in compliment extern, it is not long after that I will wear my heart upon my sleeve for dolls to peck at. I am not what I am. Okay, and obviously there's a big, there are two lines there right. to break up before we go to the next step. That's a tough change, too. Yeah, because right. it's, it's for Rodrigo, it's a very tough change. Because he's listening to all this, he's obviously hooked into it, 
And then he goes into the thing about Othello, which is, it's quite a jump in, in, in the line. And that's an area that within the play has to be handled, where um, Rodrigo's going to have to do two things. He's going to have to come out of this. Right. And that's the moment where he comes out. It can't be too long either, the whole thing will die. But he's got to come out of this a little bit, and then he's got to think of the consequence, the, consequence, the, 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 the result of this. But another thing that will help is the next line is uh, Iago's, call up her father. There, there can be another break there. That will help. In other words, the more breaks we have here, the more the transition will work. He, it's a mock discovery. There's a D there in the script, but it's mock, because he knows he's going to do it. He had this in mind as part of a plan, he hoped to execute. First, win him back, his loyalty, etc., etc., and then get him to help you antagonize Provencio so that he can hurt, maybe, you know, hurt the marriage in some way or whatever, you know. He's just creating chaos to get back at him for what he did or what he didn't do. Uh, so there has to be a discovery here on Iago's part, where uh, a parent discovery. Let's let's wake him up. Let's do this. Let's do that, and then we go from there into. Uh, otherwise, it just evolves. All right. Okay. Okay. Um, I want to do a little more up to Brabantio's um, just before Brabantio actually comes in. So let's go through the this into themes, themes the next page. So let's go with uh, I am not what I. I am not what I am. What if a fortune is a big lips at all if he can carry it for us? Call up the father. Rouse him. Make after him. Poison his delight. Proclaim him in the streets. Incense her kinsmen. And though he is in a, fert a fertile climate, well, plague him with flies. Though his joy is joy, yet throw such changes of vexation on it, as it were to lose some color. Okay, hang on a second. Um, oh. And another thing a director might have you do there, just to be aware that can help, is he says, uh, what a full fortune doesn't Licks the bit lips oh, if he can carry it with us. And uh, there's a moment there. And then Iago might, um, he takes that in, and he might walk down the stage thinking of what he just said, what Rodrigo just right. said. Yeah, that's true. It's true. And all of a sudden, he moves away from him. We don't know what the idea is. He hasn't, he hasn't said the thing. Nothing like, first, let's see the idea. But now, we don't know what it is. That's exciting. Stop. Yeah. Now, he's watching him, Rodrigo, and it's like, oh, well, what's going on? You see something happening there. He says, call up her father. Okay, now, this can be very uh, complex, this area. It's got to be very clear to you and to an audience. Call up her father. It's got to be a line after father. Okay? In other words, there are breaks here, a lot of breaks. After that, he says, Rodrigo, not dialogue, but with inner dialogue, he says, what? What? Call up our father? You've got to be kidding. Brabantio? What do you mean we're going to call him? It's 12, 30, 1 o'clock in the morning. You know? So he gives him a look like, you're off your mind. And he doesn't understand, in other words. He doesn't, well, what, why? Why are we calling up uh, her father? He, he catches the look, Iago, and he says to him, in response to his inner dialogue, he says, rouse him, make after him, Poison his delight. Okay. Uh, in other words, rouse him, make after him, poison his delight is Othello. Okay? See you? That was very clear what's happening here. So, Rabban shows down there, he's there. Now, well, my was so away, but he's in that area. Okay, he says, call up our father. He looks at him like, what? What? Rouse him. Make, in other words, we'll rouse a fellow. Don't there be confusions. Rouse him. Make, now there can't be a break here. Rouse him. Make after him. Poison his delight. Proclaim him in the streets. Now, another break. How are we going to do it? We'll do it by incense his kinsmen. That will do what I just said. So there's another line, another break there. Incense his kinsmen. 
And then he goes and he says, we back to Othello. And though he, being him, in a fertile climate dwell, plague him with flies. And the whole thing is Othello now. Though that his joy be joy, yet throws such changes of vexation on it as it may lose some color. So, okay, that's clear? And that, that this is a, a mouthful here. It's, it's a, okay, so call off her father. Confusion, what, why? The answer, rouse him, make after him. It's got to be one after the other. It's all got to be together, that, that area. Rouse him, make after him, poison his delight, proclaim him in the streets. And then we'll do it by incensing her kinsmen. And then back to him again. And though he in a fertile, and we do have antithesis here, which you can use, which will also help to color it. Fertile flies. Uh, uh, any others? Joy mm hmm Exactly. Good. Joy vexation. But then it's joy, be joy, yet throws the changes of vexation. Is it may lose some color? So um, so we got to differentiate. Very good. So take your time there. Areas like that when you're rehearsing, working on a play, you've got to really go slow. I mean, obviously, because otherwise you'll drown in that. You know, I don't know, I don't know who's what, and you're running around, it's all overlapping. And it is very clear, anyway, you want to make it clear, because he doesn't know what the hell Rodrigo doesn't understand at all what's going on here. Um, and also, it's a first. This has got to be the first time Iago has ever done anything like this, where he's aroused or awakened a man of royalty, a man who's very important, and said, why, this is a very dangerous thing to do, you just don't do these kind of things. So he's, he's, he's doing things he's never done before in his life. Okay? That's important. Okay, so let's just do that. Now. Yes. I am not what I am. Fortune does with thick lips. Oh, a pig in carriage. That's
And then he, he encourages you on, yes, do, and with like terrorist accent to the fires by the city. Okay, now you're going to do it. Now you're going to call. Hmm. Hmm. What are you doing here? You're calling, uh, you're calling for fun. Sure. Uh, so I'm sure he has the power. Of, yeah, I don't mean you're going to sit in the, for a few minutes on stage and wonder about what you're going to. This can happen in two seconds. Yeah, but there's got to be a moment before you call him where, at the least, at the least, he's going to do it. He's going to do it, and all of a sudden, now he is really going to do it. There's no more talk, and it's it's got to be consequential. That's what I'm saying. So it just may take a second. That's all. Right. Where he takes a breath. I don't mean an actor's breath for the line. It's right. a, I mean an emotional breath. Right. And then he's going to do it. And he jumps in. But he does commit himself. That's what we've got to see. And we've got to see what the commitment is. This Pancho, Rabancho knows you. He told you he before to keep away. From keep away. And which is enough. You don't belong here. But the other thing is, it's one o'clock in the morning. Have you ever done this? He's asleep. You don't do these kind of things. Not in Venice. Not ever. Where well, someone else comes out and stops So have a moment. Just have a moment. And then just to be aware of, of something. He hasn't made an appearance yet. He's going to make an appearance. Now, when he makes an appearance, it's compounded. It's one thing to get yourself together and call him. Okay, we did it. Now he comes out. Oh my God, you're not in my command. Oh shit. Now what? You see, you never take anything for granted. So, it's true. now he's out. <laughs> oh God, what have I done? I. And now, what are you going to do? And his next line is, Senor, is all your family within. But that line is going to be colored by the fear of God. It's, in other words, he'll get it out, and we'll hear it. It won't be low the line, but it's got to be tempered by something inside of him that says, ah, da, da, da. you know, it, it's going to be, and it's going to determine the reading of the line. It could be like, uh, da, da, da. what is the matter there? Senor, is all your family within? It could be apologetic, but it's not what it appears to be. It's not just these two guys yelling, right. and Ron Robancho and Robancho, and blah, 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 blah. oh no, this is human. He's got life to live, and right. he's going to lose it real fast with this guy here. Right. So uh, uh, you don't do this right. in this culture, and there's no way. It's ruled under any circumstances. And um, a note to be aware of in this area, too, is... Iago, on the contrary, is doing just the opposite. He's being irreverent. He wants to be. Yeah. But it's not to just indulge. You've got to be very careful what's coming up. It could be indulge. Here's where the actor playing Iago says, oh, I'm going to have fun with this. Here I can be, you know, so outrageous. And he plays outrageous. No. He's trying to get through to this guy. He's trying to, to, to just put the fear of God into Brabantio, to, in other words, to antagonize Brabantio against the fellow. That's, so there's a purpose, there's a method in madness here. Otherwise, it's anarchy. The whole scene is just, yeah, 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 it's great, but there's no line, there's no through line. It doesn't mean anything. No, it's constructive. In its own crazed way. We'll, we'll, we'll see what will come of it, we don't know. But for the meantime, hurt him, hurt the marriage, maybe he can annul it, whatever. You don't know. There's all kinds of things in the air. So, so what I'm saying is, Rodrigo and Iago are at odds. Rodrigo doesn't know what he's getting into here. He doesn't know that Iago is going to insult him. He thinks he's just going to wake him up and tell him, look, he's with a fellow, do something. You know? No, he's going to proceed to insult him. What you have to do is ask yourself, how does he, re he, he uh, react to that? What I'm saying is, we've got another scene going on downstairs here. This is not what it appears to be. This is not just two guys, and I'm sick of seeing it that way in all the productions, where they're yelling upstairs, and he does his thing, and they end it. No. These are human beings who have their own lives to live. Right. Right. He, he is like, I thought we'd approach him like, a, you know, in a nice way. What do you mean, in a nice way? So they're fighting downstairs. You can imagine, just imagine what's happening down here physically. Every time he insults Brabantio, uh, what is he doing, uh, uh, Rodrigo? No, don't do that. Oh, my God. It's almost funny. I'm not trying to be funny, but I just said, he may grab a hold of his hand or his arm and say, stop this. Get away from me. And he tries to insult him again. So we got a whole thing, though. I just want you to be aware of this. So it's going to color the lines and the scene, obviously. It's going to color this whole thing. Um, okay. So let's, let's go to uh, the last line Iago has before Brabantio uh, appears. Okay. 
Awake. Awake! What ho, Brabantio! Thieves! 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 Look to your house, your daughter, and your bags! Thieves! Thieves! What is the reason of this terrible summons? What is the matter there? Senor, is all your family with it? Are your doors locked? Why, wherefore you ask this? Sound, sir, you're robbed. For shame, put on your gown. Your heart is burst. You have lost half your soul, even now. Now, very now, an old black ram is tupping your white you. Arise, arise, awake the storied citizens with the bell, or else the devil will make grandsire of you. Arise, I said. What, have you lost your wits? Most reverend senor, do you know my voice? Not I. What are you? My name is Rodrigo. The worser welcome. I have charged thee not to haunt about my doors. In honest plainness, thou hast heard me say my daughter is not for thee. And now in madness, being full of supper and distempering drafts upon malicious bravery, dost thou come to start my quiet? Sir, sir. Sir, uh, but thou must needs be sure my spirits and my place have in their power to make bitter, to make this bitter to thee. Patience, good sir. What tellst thou me of robbing? This is Venice. My house is not a garage. Most brave of us. Range. And, and several of your soul I come to you. Okay, I'm going to hang on one second. That's good. Hang on. Well, it is a garage, yeah. Okay. <laughs> you, got, you got the right idea. Yeah, that's good. You did something interesting. And I, I don't know if it was your conscious choice or it just came out. And that was, you did the thing we talked about earlier in one of the speeches. You made it into questions. You were aware of it? Did you, I'm just curious if you made it to us consciously or it came. What I'm talking about is, um, my daughter is not for the and now in madness. And it, it, it wasn't that clear, but there was a flavor, a flavor of question. I would say I knew I was doing it, but it did it, it happen in the moment. Like, I like it in the big plan. As I was saying it, I could feel it. But I good. That, that's good. Now, what I was going to say there is to, to make it even stronger, those okay. questions. Okay. See. Any areas where we can take didactics or pontification, <coughs> postulation, and break it up, color it, we must, I feel, it's the way I work. Uh, because otherwise that's all it is, Shakespeare, is expostulation and explaining things. And we've got to find other ways to color, to make it human. So it doesn't start as a question in that speech. Right. And uh, uh, I was going to stop you there anyway, because I wanted to go back one more time to this area uh, before Iago really gets played. Um, so <coughs> when, I talk, when I say... Uh, being full, being full of supper and temper, just tempering. Am I saying like is he drunk, or am I saying yeah. that this is at the time of the morning? Everybody's had a dinner. Everybody's had uh -huh. a drink. We're all in bed. When he comes, but, I, but, but so I'm saying, what are you? Are you full of supper? Are you drunk? And you come here in madness? Yeah. Things like that. Because the attitude it was prefaces, and you you have the nerve. How dare? How dare? And now a madness, being full of supper and tempering drafts. Upon malicious grave lead, grave, it should be neighbor. Upon malicious neighbor, the stop count to stop my quiet. See, rather than a statement, and yeah. it'll make it much stronger. Like, again, it hurt you. This disbelief that you were dare to do this, rather than you are doing this and you have no right to do yeah. this. Yeah. Uh, and then it turns, but thou must needs be sure. Now it becomes the threat, and it becomes a definite, clear move. But that's another color. Um, uh, and my spirits and my place have in their power. It could be in there, it could be in them. Uh, my spirits and my place have in their power to make this bitter to the next kind of power together. There can't be any break there at all. Uh, and that's a definite threat, of course. Uh, now, going back to the. Uh, So again, it's clear that there's still more here in the scene with the three of them. It, it, it is clear, right, that this is not, it's not orchestrated. With these two down here yelling, yeah, there's conflict all over the place here. Uh, at the beginning, Rabanchot has to be very confused. And 
he doesn't understand what Iago is saying. Because if he does, we have no way to go in this scene. In other words, Iago, he uses metaphors and he uses analogous <laughs> phrases and admirable whatever. It's got to be the choice, it's got to be, or I think it's much preferable, that he doesn't understand. It's an insult, but he doesn't understand the thing about anything about Stella being involved here. Right. Much too soon for that. So what he gets from this Bravaccio should be one of a couple of drunks downstairs and they're insulting. He doesn't know what I'm doing. Mean, uh, and it's like he's confused. Confusion is the main thing we, that, that, we, that we need from him here. Uh, there will be a point in the scene, a very definite point, where the more, and, and then we understand what we're exactly, what he understands exactly what, what, is, what they're implying. Um, again, antithesis. Another one. Even now, very now, an old black man is cupping your white view. Okay, so uh, that's a nice contrast. Um. And there may be a couple of breaks in the other speech. Very brief. Zoom, sir, you're wrong, and he goes in. There might be a moment, a second after white you, where he waits for a response. And then he doesn't get it. So then he says, arise, arise, idiot. Oh. Do something. Um, certainly a slight way there. And zero in on Rodrigo when he tells you who he is. Like disbelief. So particularize that. You have a definite relationship with him as brief and as unpleasant as it is or whatever. And so we should see that in, in, in that as soon as he tells you who he is. Uh, okay, let's do that, that area again. Starting with uh, the other's mind. Awake! What ho, Romancho! Thieves! 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 Look to your house, your daughter, your bags! Thieves! Thieves! What, what is the reason of this terrible summons? What is the matter there? Senor, is all your family within? Are your doors locked? Why? Where where for you ask this? Town, sir, you're robbed! For shame, put on your gown. Your heart is burst. You've lost half your soul. Even now, now, very now, an old black ram is tupping your white you. Arise! Arise! Awake the snorting citizens with the bell, or else the devil will make a grandsire of you. Arise, I say. What? Have you lost your wits? Most reverend, senor. Do you know my voice? Not I. What are you? My name is Rodrigo. The words are welcome. I have charged thee not to haunt about my door. In honest plainness, thou hast heard me say, my daughter is not for thee. And now, in madness, being wolf supper and distempering draft, you, upon malicious bravery, dost thou come and start my quiet? Sir, sir. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Now, he says, sir, 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 whenever you see that in a script, all that is is background. How many times actors will do that? They'll have, he has his speech, and he says, sir, 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 and then Provencio continues. That's how people don't talk that way. So he's talking, he's going on, he says, sir. It's all broken up. There's a few of them scattered around. Who cares? Do you know what I mean? It's like he, he overlaps that. Provencio never stops. He may take a quick breath, and he's on to the next thing, I know. And uh, the, the, the thing about Rodrigo, okay, that's good what you're doing, but now remember, at this point in the scene, all of that is still valid, he was talking about before. However, he has to overcome it or try to overcome it. He doesn't overcome it completely. See what I'm saying? In other words, we, we put a condition here. And the condition is, or just a few conditions, is his relationship to Brabantio and Brabantio's relationship to Venice. Those are two very important conditions which Rodrigo cannot ignore. Okay. However, he's trying, he, he, he doesn't have to, he, he, he has to try to overcome that. So the, the fear, respect of Brabantio, that never leaves him. 
but he's got to try to, to, to come in with what he has to do anyway. What will help him is Iago, ironically. Iago is irreverent and he, 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 he starts to insult him right away. That's going to make Rodrigo work harder. It's going to bring out the best in him. You see what I mean? So that there's something that's happening, and that will help to explain that wonderful speech that Rodrigo has in the next page when he doesn't sound like Rodrigo. There's been a lot of comment about that where, how does he talk like this? He talks so well, and it's so put together, and so this, and so that. The answer is Rodrigo is at his wit's end. He's pressed against the wall. He has to, he, in other words, he has to do the best he can possibly do. And so finally, he goes down in his, his feet to draw the best out. And a lot of it is because of the Iago and Brabantio the relationship. And that will justify that speech, which he does so well. Um, okay, so, so overcome okay. as much as you can and try to... Uh, and another thing, um, the last speech Iago has before Rodrigo has his, is that one we're going into now. Prior to that, Brabantio opens up on Rodrigo. And what we need from Iago there is, um, is to encourage him. Do something. Push him. Come on. Talk back to him. Say something. Because Brabantio is dominating now. He tends to dominate and he's taking over the city. And this is not what you want. So, you, but you want him to do it. It's really for him to do it. It'll make it easy. He knows we're about to do this, and you don't want to get yourself involved in this, you know, where, where it's known who you are. You know, that's no good. That's very dangerous for a whole bunch of reasons, obviously. So, uh, what would be happening with them, you don't have to do it, but you want you to be aware of it. Downstairs, he's like, come on, come on. And the more Provencio hits him, the more he pushes Iago. Come on, do it. And Iago's going, no, uh, not Iago, but Rodrigo is going, leave me alone for God's sake. I don't know what to do. And there's Provencio come cutting it. So you've got habit going on here, but it's organized habit. Getting the courage and come And finally, he just doesn't do it. So that's when Iago comes in and says, oh, screw it. I'll do it. And he, you know what I mean? And that's the idea. Of, oh, this guy's hopeless. You know, uh, the, the, what tells him, I'm rotting, this is better. But he's going to go out on life, Robot Show, and you're going to achieve nothing. <laughs> nothing. So to hell with it. And so he jumps in, and he's going to insult the hell out of him. And, but now he gets clear. He becomes lucid. Because he uses certain words here. And he finally says, uh, he mentioned about the daughter, but it's still not clear until your daughter and the Moor are now making the beast with two backs. Ah, even Ravancho can figure that one out. He mentions more. He doesn't mention some guy or some black guy, whatever. He said more. More and daughter. Aha, uh -huh. so Ravancho <coughs> hears that. For the first time now, he understands the ramifications, at least he thinks he does, of, of what this man is saying. And that will justify that one, not that one villain, etc. And then Rodrigo comes in, and uh, okay. but up to that point, Robancho does not know what they're driving. All he knows is it's two guys, one of whom he knows, who are creating havoc, and he's furious about that. Okay, let's go back to the opening of that area again with uh, Iago. Oh wait, what ho, Robancho? Thieves! 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 Look to your house, your daughter, your bags, thieves, thieves! What is the reason of this terrible summons? What is the matter there? Senor, is all your family within? Are your doors locked? Why? Wherefore ask you this? Last time, sir, you're robbed. For shame, put on your gown, your heart is first, you've lost half your soul. Even now, now, very now, an old black ram is tucking your white youth. Arise! Arise! Await the sorting citizens with the bell, or else the devil will make a grandsire of you. Arise, I say. What? Have you lost your wits? Most reverend senor, do you know my voice? Not I. What are you? My name is Rodrigo. The worse are welcome. I have charged the young to haunt about my doors. In honest plainness, thou hast heard me say, my daughter is not for thee. And now, in madness, being full of supper and distempering draughts, sir, upon malicious bravery, dost thou come and start my quiet, sir? But thou hast, but thou must meet, be sure, my spirit and my place have their power to make this better for thee. Patience, good sir. What? Tell me, thou of Robbie. This is Venice. My house is not a 
rain. Los brave rebancho, and symbol of pure soul, I come to you. Sounds, sir, you are one of those who do not serve God if the devil bid you. Because we come to do you service, and you think we are ruffians? You'll have your daughter covered with a Barbary horse. You'll have your nephews named. You'll have coursers for customs and jettics for Germans. What profane wretch art thou? I am one, sir, that comes to tell you that your daughter and the Moor are now making the beast of the two battles. Thou art a villain. You are a senator. Thou, this thou shalt answer. I know thee, Rodrigo. Okay, ho- hold on a second. I, I, that's good. Um, something. Uh, the words are welcome. I I have charged thee not to haunt about my doors in honest plainness. In honest plainness, thou hast heard me say my daughter is not for thee, and now in madness, being full of supper and distempering draughts, upon malicious bravery dost thou, sir, come to start my quiet, sir? But thou must need be sure my spirit and my place have their power to make bitter of thee. To make this bitter, bitter to make this bitter to thee. Patience, good sir, what? Tells me thou of Robbie. Okay, now let's tie together. That's all one line. What tells thou me of Robbie? This is famous. My house is not regular. Okay. What tells me thou of robbing? This is Venice. My house is not a range. Most grave of Ancho, in simple and pure soul, I come to you. So, sir, you are one of those that will not serve God if the devil bid you. Because we come to do you, sirs, and you think we are robbers? You'll have your daughter covered with a barbary horse. You'll have nephews made to you. You'll have coursers for cousins and genetics for Germans. Profane wretch art thou. I am one, sir, that comes to tell you that your daughter and the born are now making the beast of the two bags. Thou art a, a villain. You are a senator. This thou shalt answer. I know thee, Rodrigo. Sir, I will answer any. Okay, and just a note there after he does that line to you, after Iago has that you are a senator, have a, 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 a momentary pause there. It is. You know, well, what are you going to do with that? Now, the thing is, he can't do anything. He doesn't know who this guy is. Right. You can threaten him today in Illinois. You know damn well by the time you get your people downstairs, they'll be gone. So what are you going to do? So have a moment to think about it. <laughs> yeah. And they go, oh, shit, I know what I'm going to do. I agree. Yeah. You know, but yeah. you don't know. Yeah, right. I and mean, yeah. it finally comes out, wow. Yeah. It's like, you know, and then, of course, he, he smokes, he smokes. Okay, go back to that. Uh, what, uh, the last part, you'll have your nephew's name to you. You'll have your nephews made to you. You'll have horses for cousins and genets for Germans. What profane wretch art thou? I am one, sir, that comes to tell you that your daughter and the more are now making the beast with two backs. Thou art a villain! You are a senator! This, this thou shalt answer. I know thee, Rodrigo. Sir, I will answer anything. I beseech you. Be your pleasure and most wise consent. And partly I find it is that your fair daughter, even at this odd and dull watch of the night, transported no with no worse, nor better regard, but with a knave of common hire, a gondolier, to the gross class, to the lascivious moor. If this be known to you, and your allowance, and we have done you bold and saucy wrong. But if you do not know this, my manners tell me that we have your wrong rebuke. Do not believe that from the sense of all civility, I would play and, and trifle with your reverence. Your daughter, if you have not given her to me, I say again, have made a gross revolt. I your duty, beauty, wit, and fortune an extravagant and wheeling stranger of here and everywhere. Straight, satisfy yourself. If she be in her chamber or, her, or your house, let loose on me the justice of the state, for that's deluding you. Strike on Tinder, go! Give me a taper! Call my people! Call up all my people. This accident is not unlike my dream. Belief in it oppresses me 
already. Light, I say! Light! Okay, now he goes, just a note now. When Rodrigo starts in that speech, sir, I will answer anything, it's got to start very small. In other words, you know, he's, but he doesn't get pressed against the wall earlier. He does get pressed against the wall earlier. Not during the speech. You see what I'm saying? He has nowhere to go now. He can get weaker or he can get stronger. But I, I, well, he, he can't he can't grow, well, he can't grow in the speech in the sense that he catches on. But he's got to catch on right from the start. He's got to be there. He can't arrive there in the course of the speech. That's what I mean. He, he arrived, he's arrived now and he's ready to say it or else it isn't going to happen. Because I, what will happen then is if he comes in at 50, he'll dominate you, you, you again. He's furious. He's hitting his beat for a bunch of So you're going to have to top everything. You're going to have to top it. And it's not a question of volume, although it's going to be very sharp. But it's got to be, sir, you've got to stop him in his tracks. Sir, I will answer anything. But I beseech you, it's got to be incisive. You've got to. It, and then it's got to be, it's got to move. So it's a tough speech. It can't, he can't get laid back and take his time and give him all this these great ideas. It won't work. It's, it's got to be well, well spoken. I mean, the words are wise, the way he puts them are fun, but it's how he, it's how he says it in terms of, of timing and whatever. Incisive, strong, uh, I'm using the same words, clear, lucid, you know, and, uh, um, Clarity is so important in this speech because you, you're you not going to overpower him. He doesn't care. This guy is just too strong a character and Rodrigo does not have it. So how can Rodrigo dominate? We have to ask that question. He does. He holds stage here and he makes him hear it. He hasn't been able to, well, he heard the album too, but now it's up to him to do it. But how does he do it? Why does he do it? We've got to believe it. And from what we've seen of Rodrigo so far, it's a little much here. So if we've got to see him so clear, so he's got to cut in with everything he's and he mustn't stop. In other words, he knows this is going to be a long speech, Rodrigo. This is not one of those. In other words, it's one of those because you know I'm a bug about that. I don't want to throw you off here. I don't know for long speeches. Long speeches come out of this, out of what ha- what's happening usually. If you approach it as a long speech, you're going to get in the water. However, there are exceptions to that rule. There are times when you intend to say something to somebody and it's going to take a paragraph or two and you know it. You may not get through it, you may cut in or whatever, that's what said, but you're going to try. You know that this won't happen with a few isolated lines. You know what I mean? It's not a give and take, it's a give. He's going to take, but he's going to take for a, 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 for a, for a few minutes. He's not going to take for a couple of lines. That's his intent here. You've got to tell him everything from beginning to end. He knows that. And you're going to try. You're going to give it all in one hell of a shot. Okay? And then you, you can grow on it as... See, now what will happen is, you do get his quiet. He, he shuts up. You stop. So as that happens, you can get stronger and more confident. There must be it, there must be an awareness in Rodrigo that something is happening with him that did not happen earlier. Because this guy never stops the bunch. All up till now, it's a back and forth, back and forth. With you, Yago, and But now, for the first time, he, not right away, but after a half a minute, the speech runs in a couple of minutes almost, after a half a minute, maybe a minute and a half. After a half a minute or, or a, a 25 seconds, what, what, whatever, he has a second thing. Now that's got to mean something. He, he's hearing in silence. See what I'm driving at? You can hear it in silence. Sometimes that can be the strongest response to, to as we do as actors with an audience. You hear that, especially with drama. That's why drama is harder than comedy, in spite of what they tell you. Believe me. Because with drama, you don't. You can't be sure. Oh, after a while, you pick up this intuition. You get don't always know for sure. You know that old expression: you can't hear a pin drop. Well, that's great, but it just could be they're sleeping. Who knows? You know, maybe they snore a lot. You're not too sure. But with, with comedy, you get the last. You don't get the last. If it's silent out there, and I assume it's a humorous flight, you, you're in trouble. You know, and that's good because then you got to do something. You got to find out again. With drama, with certainly with tragedy, ha, ha, ha. you don't hear crying too much in the audience. They may be crying. But it's not something you hear very well. So it's the same kind of a thing here. You're not there. But his silence is going to tell you something. That alone is an indication he hasn't been quiet up to now. So grow on that. Grow on that. Use that. You see what I'm saying in terms of what's happening in the scene. 
And uh, so there will be growth in the speech, even though he doesn't say anything he was talking to you by how we, you know. And, uh, and then we have a nice short pause there at the end. Rather than him just coming in with spiking the thing to hold, you know, it's like a moment there. And you don't hear anything, I don't hear anything, no one hears anything. But we may hear his breathing. And, 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 and then, you know, he, so we will see him because he's visual for God. That's important, good. So it's like, he doesn't know what to do, but he believes. Well, what, what is he going to do? Well, I'll start with getting some light here, or throw some, something, uh, uh, some light on the issue. And then, but he doesn't know what to do after that. Give me a table. He's fumbling. I, I call up all my people. You know? And then, sat in front of my life, my dream of reading, ready, and then, like I said, like I said. So we know that he, it, it, it's, there's a great, a lot of depth there. It's very layered, his response. Um, let, let's do that one more time, and then go into the end. Go right to robotic shows. Uh, uh, I'll give you a shot at that speech after all I said, that one we just did. Let's go to, um, you'll have your nephew's name, no, to Zoom, sir. And then go right through into uh, the end of the scene. Okay. Page six. Yeah. Uh, seven. Page seven? Yeah. Seven. Yeah. Seven. Middle. Okay. One eleven. Zoom, sir, you are not one of those. You are Zoom, one of those. <laughs> Zoom, sir, you are one of those who will not serve God if the devil bid you. Because we come to do you service and you think we are rough. You'll have your daughter covered with a Barbary horse. You'll have your nephews naked. You. You'll have horses for cousins and genics for German. What for framed rhetoric art thou? I have one, sir, that comes to tell you that your daughter and the Moor are now making the beast with two backs. Lord of villain. You are a saint. This thou shalt answer. I know thee, Rodrigo. Sir, I will answer anything, but I beseech you. Be your pleasure, most wise consent, as part I find it is, that your fair daughter, even if at this odd and dull watch of the night, transported with no worse nor better a car, but with a knave of common hire, a gondolier, to the gross clasps of the lascivious moor. If this be known to you, and your allowance, then we have done you bold and saucy wrongs. But if you know not this, my manners tell me we have your wrong rebuke. Do not believe that from the sense of all civility I would thus play and trifle with your reverence. Your daughter, if you have not given her leave, I say again, hath made a gross revolt, kind her duty, beauty, wit, and fortunes in an extravagant and wheeling stranger of here and everywhere. Straight to satisfy yourself. If she be in her chamber or your house, let loose on me the justice of the state for thus saluting you. Strike on the tender, ho! And give me a paper. Call up all my people. This accident is not like my dream. The least of it impresses me already. Light, I say, light! Farewell. Perhaps leave you. It seems not meet nor wholesome to my place to be productive. In my state. Uh, change that to, to produce. Just a, yeah, you have to uh, just, just a note there. Uh, that was good. That went. Uh, again, meeting where with Brabantio, strike on the tender hope, take more time with that. Right. And you'll see, it, 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 the, just the sound of the silence will color that whole area. Where if he comes in, it's the obvious choice. And it's not an exciting choice or whatever, you know. So, or if he comes in even after a couple of seconds, you can have a nice pause there. I mean, you know, with the oh, reason. Yeah, it sounds strange, I know. No, but believe me, it'll actually, work. I, yeah. He's through, right, Rodrigo. Rodrigo has come to a period. We must understand, he is through. He hasn't, he's not going to say anything more. 
which is not always the case. So I'm a bug about that. Uh, is this an ending? Is it a momentary breath where he's going to continue? Is it a cut? We have to delineate. This is an ending. It really is an ending. And he said, now it's in your heart. And now he realizes it's an ending, but my show is not going to say anymore. He doesn't have to say anymore. And it's like, oh my God. And, and then finally comes the words. But the words are nothing. It's what happens before the words. Right. 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 And it's an unusual choice. It's an unusual choice. And it'll be exciting for an audience and exciting for the actor, I hope. Um, now, farewell for I must leave you. Okay, well, that's very interesting. Here he is. He's got him going. This guy's ready to kill someone. And he believes that his daughter's been gone with the more. He doesn't understand that how this happened, but anyway, now he's going to leave him alone down here, he's going to run off, and Rodrigo's going to have to contend with Brabantio. So what's Rodrigo's response to this? You know, I mean, it's like, what? It's got to be, there's got to be a moment. Now, I know this is a speech he has here, but that's not, this thing's happening within this speech. So he says, farewell, for I must leave you. <laughs> so, you got it. Got it. Now, then, comes his next line. He doesn't, you know, and then he has to explain, well, but why he's going to leave him. You better you gotta give him a good story. Because, you know, come on. Come on. So, you got to tell him. And that's going to color the next line. You know, it seems like me. I can't stay here. And what he says makes sense. I mean, there's a logic to it. But who thinks of it right away, you know? Uh, so, discovery. Discovery. What's going to happen. Otherwise, this whole speech is pure... Uh, explanation. That's all it is. I mean, of, of, of what's going on in the background and whatever. And in fact, it does tell the audience certain things that we don't know, but it's got to come through urgency of the, of, the, of the character. Yeah. However, this may call him with some change. Yeah. However, this, in other words, this is what's, is, is this, the fact that he's taken this man's uh, daughter off, you know, which you're not allowed to do that. However, this incident, However, this situation, uh, uh, I, for I do know the state. However, this may go in with some check. Uh, in other words, I, I, I know the state will, 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 will check him for this. We will reprimand him, him for this. But they, they cannot with safety yeah, get rid of him. Yeah, they, no, not just because he's powerful, they need him now. Eight the months ago, I heard of this. The war is imminent. And that also is going to help to explain, we'll get to that in the next scene, as to why they, they picked now to, to have the elopement. Why now? Why not a few weeks ago, a month ago, or, or a few months from now? Yeah. Um, so... <coughs> I need to just, um, just to tell you the time, because today, either I, like I said, it's 225. Yeah. It's 225, which is... Oh, it is? Yeah, which is just so that, so just to tell you, that today I have a performance tonight, so I need to... Oh, sure. I think we're waiting for the break. I'm going to ask you that. It was about what? What did I pass? I'm just doing the break. I'll tell you what we'll do. Oh, You're right. I lost track. Yeah. Let's just get through this, so just to the end here. Yeah, yeah, yeah I just wanted to just absolutely. make it, see we're okay now. I just want to sure. Stay. Okay. So let's go, uh, a um, couple of things that'll help you with, with this speech. They will, but I must leave you. And there's two lines there. That's a big change. Doesn't mean it's a long pause or anything, but it's a big transition. And then we have this response that said, It seems that me, but also my place to be produced, as if I say I shall, that's better, 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 better. to be produced against the more. That's what we're really saying, of course. For I do know the state, and there can be a slight break there, a line there. However, this may go with, 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 with some check. And checking uh, can be underlined, because that's a highlight. And there's a line after check. We with some check. Cannot with say be cast. He's the ratio. And a line after him. There is a, uh, a break there. And then he explains. So he's embarked with such loud reason as a run onto the Cypress Wars. And then another break, which even now stands in act. He's highlighting it. Right now it's happening. Not just the Cyprus Wars in general, uh, but right now, that for their souls and other of his family. So there's a, a line after act, a break after that. 
that for their souls another of his fathom they have none to leave their business. And then another right line, in which regard, now he's zeroing in, another line, another break, though I do hate them as I do hell pains, another break, yet for necessity, and now we're getting toward the end of this, so he puts it together more, yet for necessity of present life, I must show out a flag and sign of love, which is indeed but sign, but sign should be highlighted. For now, and then later on, we go back to this, you'll find many other things to do with it. And this will open up the whole sense of this thing. Uh, it's got to be very clear, this speech. It's got to be uh, perspicuous to, to delineate very clearly. Otherwise, I, I, the thing is, there's a condition of the speech, and the condition is that Brabantio is going to be appearing momentarily. You're in a big hurry, and yet you can't lose clarity. It's got to be so sharp. So there's an urgency. We always must put these conditions on these things, and then it colors them beautifully. So urgency, time is of the essence. And also you want to understand what's going on. And what can happen here, it doesn't have to be done this way, but just to break it up some more, make it more human, what the director could do is say, okay, I must show out a flag and sign of love, which is indeed but sign. End. Two lines, two, uh, two angle lines after that. End. And he leaves. Iago starts to go off. He gets about as far as the exit, and he remembers, wait a minute. I forgot to tell him where I am, where a fellow is. He's human. He forgets. He's ready to run off, thinking he already told him. But he didn't tell him. So he runs back in, you know, real fast, and he says that you shall surely find him, lead to the study, bury the ray search, and there will I be with him. Yeah. That would be nice. It would be a nice time. Breaks it up. It shows that people are infallible. You know what I mean? <clears throat> and then what he can do there, as a real twist, and there will I be with him. So farewell, you don't have to actually do it, but just the idea, you can go and hug, hug Rodrigo, you can hug each other. Yeah, be nice, see? It'll also help to explain a little of the relationship in terms of how, the, he, he knows how to be warm with him, but otherwise always always berating you and everything. So there's some humanity here. And he shows they're good friends. See, I'm your friend. So it is a, a, a loving note, a trusting note. He goes to him, he embraces him, Rodrigo feels good, but reassure him, he's going to need this reassurance. And then he goes, and that's where he's left when Brabantio comes in. It will help to insulate him, too. Uh, so let's go to um, the end of Rodrigo's uh, the speech. Straight satisfy yourself and then go into this uh, area. That's line one. Yeah. Straight satisfy yourself. If she be in her chamber or your house, let loose on me the justice of the state for thus deluding you. Strike on the tender. Oh. Give me a cake. Call up all my people. This accident is not in what I dream. Belief of it presses me already. Light. Light! Well, if I was thinking, oh, it seems not meet nor wholesome for my place to be reduced, as if I say it is the more. For I know the state, however this may go off with some check, cannot with safety cast it. For he's embarked with such loud reason to the cypress wars, which even now stands in that, that for their souls, another of his fathers, they have none, they have none to do their business, in which regard, though I do hate him as hell. Yet for necessity of present life, we must show out a flag and sign of love, which is deep but sign. That you should surely find him, leave the sanctity of the ways of search, and there I will be. So, well, I, I lost that. I, I, well, you, you can do as bad as you can. You've got the sense of it, you yeah. see, just by the breaks, and that alone that makes it so clear. And then you get into more of the emotion, the feelings, colors and this and that, but you've got the, those, those breaks are, and then you'll have, you'll find, uh, not always, but in, in certain areas, maybe half the time, maybe a quarter of the time, you'll have alternatives, with, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, uh, uh, you know, um, I can't get into every option, obviously, we could spend, 
easily on this scene alone a week. He's talking about a break in that one. In fact, well, it's a study. It's a long, uh, uh, but I think you'll find eventually it's a wonderful study. And uh, it's not just acting. It's something you will for much, much, much more. Than that. Wow. But. So we'll pick up here tomorrow? Let's just end this. I just like to get through this. I'm determined to get through this, through this once. So, uh, Rabanchio, uh, if, if you would switch to Rodrigo, and if Maggie would do Brabantio, and uh... Um, I oh sure. I'm just I'm, I'm just determined to throw this one. So you, you, it'll be okay. You won't miss anything that. Yeah. So I'll, um, uh, tomorrow I said ten. Did I maybe? Yeah, tomorrow morning's ten. Tomorrow's going to be ten. We're going to start. Okay. Then I'll make it for the next three Sundays. Oh, I don't want. Sorry, it's my fault. That is. Yeah, that's right. Don't blame him. Don't blame him. He'll kill me. I'll have coffee for you in the morning. See you at ten. Yes. Coffee, croissants. All right. Oh, that's good. Thank you. 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 Thank you whatever to something. Not at all. No, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Women knowing how to take care of men is what I was thinking. That's a business. I'm making him get up at 10 o'clock. You see, I'm going to offer you anything, boy. Well, he's coming no. For an hour no, I didn't have to. So but I wanted to. It makes it not a business. There's a difference. Okay. Let's... It is too true an evil. Gone she is, and, and what's to come of my despised time and not the bitterness? Now, Rodrigo, where didn't thou see her? Oh, happy girl. The more, sayest thou, who would be a father? How didst thou know it was she? Oh, oh, she deceives me. Perhaps it's a thought. I don't understand that. What, what said she to you? Give me more tapers. Raise all my kindred. Are they married? Thank you. Okay, I'll hold on a, se a second. Okay, so he comes out. And uh, there's things happening around us. I mean, you know, the, the soldiers, the, these people are getting together to have, to have the crew going with the crew, apprehending more. Uh, now, uh, what we don't want here is the old fool coming out and ranting and uh, that running around and, you know, he doesn't know what he's doing and his head's cut, cut off about like a chicken and he's this and he's that. Yeah, it can be done that way, it usually is. And, uh, or this doesn't mean a hell of a lot to him. It can be done that way too. It means a great deal, of course. But it's got to be, we've got to make uh, 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 choices here. Uh, well, when he comes out here and he knows that she's gone, he, he, he's already aged about eight years. You know what I mean? He comes in with that. Now, he knows. Yeah, yeah he knows. He, he, saw. he yeah. suspected, he thought after right. what Rodrigo told him, he feared, but now he knows. So he's progressed in his, in his hobby. And we see that when he comes in. In other words, it's waiting on him. And um, now he talks to Rodrigo. Uh, he says, okay, it is too true and evil. Gone she is. And what's to become of my despised time is naught but bitterness. There should be a break there. And he says to him, now, Rodrigo, where didn't thou see her? Well, Rodrigo didn't see her. Right. So, you know, he could say something, but when, if he is going to say something, he won't say it right away, right? Because he's right. lying to his teeth. Right. Where did he say? I mean, he doesn't, you know. So, so because there'll be a momentary break there, and that will give Rabanchio a moment to go into his next thing. You see what I'm saying? He doesn't get a response immediately, and that gives him a chance to, oh, unhappy girl, another break. And then he says to him, he already asks him, with the more safe stuff, and says to be one. Just one syllable, because everything is black is, you know, that's it. With the more safe stuff, and 
he says that he does answer, because he does know that he's he knows. And so the full consequence of it now thought it is in fact the law. And that will color the next slide. Who yeah. will be a father. Yeah. Yeah. So with the law say so? Uh-huh. Oh and who would be a father? Rather than just coming out with all right. these things that he right. says and misery. It should be more immediate in terms of what's happening now, right. not just what's already happening. Right. Then he asks him, how didst thou know it was she? And again, he can't answer that. So there will be a justifiable moment there. Just a moment. And then he goes back into his thing, oh, she deceives me past all. That's how he got it. Then he turns to him again. What say she? So we get it. What did he say? You know, he's going to say something. He's going to have to lie, fabricate. That will right. a few seconds. And he doesn't. Before he has a chance to fabricate, it gives him enough time to go back. Well, because now he sees his people coming out, so he tells them, "Get more tapers." Uh, and there's a break there, and then to, to, to a few of the others, not the same ones. These are the other others of his people. Raise all my kindred. Then another break. And then he asks a very important question, which has not been asked at all in this scene. There's been no mention. Right. Yeah. Again, never take anything for granted. Are they married? Thank you. Now he says he does answer. He says, truly, I think they are. Okay, here's where we avoided any climax. Because the big, the big speech is this one. Because now he knows they went off. No question about that. But he also knows that they're most likely they are, in fact, married. So, oh, heaven is just the response to that. Just that. Isolated. Oh, my God. Otherwise, oh, heaven, how got she out is, that's nothing. Oh, who cares how got she out? He's curious. That's not the key. The key is, oh, heaven, then I. And then there's a break. And then he may ask him, well, I don't know, ask him. He might add, look at him when he says it. He might say it to himself, how got she out. Either way. And then there's another break. Another line, and then, oh, treason of the blood. And then another word. And he says, and that's to himself, of course, fathers from hence trust not your daughters' minds by what you see them at. That's all together. Now, very important, there's a moment here, and it's discovery. He, they're married, it's going to destroy his reputation, it's horrible, the whole thing. But suddenly a discovery he may have an out. Maybe, maybe she was charmed by him. Now he's talking, he's not talking in metaphors. Now he means very, he's talking drugs. Now it's very topical. Drugs, like today. These things don't happen. Women are taken off by men, they're drugged, they're, you know, well, whatever it happens. And it happens in that day and age. And that's what he means there. So he says that there's a moment by, by what you see them out. And then, wait a Something's happening. We don't know what's going on in his mind, any of us, the audience or Rodrigo, but something is happening with Rodrigo here. He thinks of something. You don't even have to turn to Rodrigo here. Let that be to himself, and it's much more exciting. In other words, is there not charms by which the property of you can leave for me and be used? And then, and then ask him, if, if, have you not read Rodrigo or some such thing? So in other words, it's like light. Yeah. Yeah. It's light. And then he confirms, of course, oh, well, yes, so I have to be. Okay, now this is what's going to spur him through the rest of this scene, the next scene when he confronts him in the street of Bello, and the scene with the Duke. Now he's got his ammunition. Yeah. Yeah. That is that she was what? drunk by him. Right, right. I'm not failure as a father. Right, he's right. Drunk. Well, he's, he's still, you know, but it was, right. it was beyond it, was it all. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it was something, yeah. you know. He drew, and now, what of course, this is the only answer. And this is a capital crime. So from this point on, uh, he's going to have a fellow executed. Uh, because it's the only way. If uh, he's found guilty of charms, of using drugs on uh, a woman or whatever, then, uh, is, then he dies. Doesn't matter who he is. Doesn't matter who he is. It could be a fellow, or it could be, it could be a senator. You know, uh, if they can prove it. And so it takes on a whole other right. life. And what better thing than to have him kill? Remove the, you know what I mean? Get rid of him, and that'll help to reestablish his everything. Yeah. So there's a lot of things yeah. happening here. Yeah. And we can't take anything for granted. Face. And that's going to motivate him in the rest of this scene and right through until his party's over. Because it ends on his own. This is what he has. This is the rest this of the life. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. if he can't save his name and his 
his reputation, he's doomed. Now, we know he dies later on, but the fact is, in his heart of hearts, he knows that he has nothing to live for. And just a note, I know I'm kidding you with so many things here, uh, but, you know, we've got to. He says something very interesting. He says, because uh, I won't let anything pass. We mustn't ever. I want you to be aware of that, especially in Chester. Every yeah. line, every yeah. word, yeah. this yeah. Yeah. He says, it is too true of evil. Go and she is. Then he says, and what's to become of my despised time is not with bitterness. Now, that's an interesting line. It could just, I mean, what does he mean by that? He says, that's a very, very deep and strong and bitter line, excuse the compounding of the word. What's to become of my despised time? Now, despised time, he's talking in terms of now and of the future. So I would say that it is not for bitterness. But he doesn't say what's to co- what's to be. He could say, and what's to come of my old age is not for bitterness. Okay, then he means in his retirement, in his last years, he won't have the comfort of his daughter. That makes sense. But he doesn't say that. He says, and what's to become of my despised time is not for bitterness. Now, in other words, despised time has already begun to work on. Yeah. He has found this time in his yeah. life to be despicable. Yeah. Right. And then he right. has his daughter there who he loves in his own way, of course. Uh, so how interesting. Now that tells us something about Rabanchio. It could be any number of things. It could be that Rabanchio, uh, they didn't have the terminology for it then, is having prostate problems. It could be Rabanchio is having heart problems, maybe, maybe heart irregularity. Now I, this may sound weird, what the hell, like, what is it? You didn't know you get into a medical course. But the point I'm driving at is, well, when somebody gets older, they don't take care of themselves, the average person. This is what happens. This is human, again. And especially at his age, Rabuncho is at that age, where in our terms he's younger, but in that day and age, he's about 50. The equivalent of that is like 70 today. Very dangerous time. Because 70 today is very dangerous time. That's when a lot of, that's when you either die in a few years and you go to old age. And so you see what I'm driving at. And that's how he is he's at about 70. Yes, in terms of our years, yes. Oh, okay. In terms of their years, it's about 50. Okay. Uh, 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 yeah. And so uh, that can give the actor who's playing Brabantio some interesting things. I don't think he's going to announce to the audience, yeah, I got prostate right. problems and I got a right. bad heart. Right. You know, or right. I'm feeling, you know, irregularities. They couldn't analyze it then and know that they had these illnesses or whatever. But they have them. They have them. Yeah. Sure, you know? yeah. And he's, he's not, he's, not, he's, not, he's got problems. And so those lines take on a different meaning now. They're not just, you know, very general. What's going to come up like that? And it's going to color now everything he does. Because if he is feeling that way, that his life, that she is even more important to him than ever before. Yeah. Because she yeah. serves him, yeah. she, she's beautiful, right. she's wonderful, she's kind. He needs that more than the 